Okay, Coach, good enough. Here we are again after a home game in which your team has either broken or set a team school record for most threes in a game or three-point attempts as your team goes 19-46 to 46 from beyond the arc. Uh, what do you have to say about your team's performance from three-point range? Uh, we did not shoot the ball very well last week. We didn't shoot the ball well against Mary Harden Baylor or at Texas A&M. And our players are putting in so much work on their own that, you know, the statistics would be that at one, you know, pretty quickly we were going to have a really good scoring night. And um, I thought for the most part they were all really shot ready and, um, you know, did a good job sharing the basketball, getting the, getting the ball uh, passed around the perimeter to players that were really open that had good shots. and. Feet were set, ready to shoot the ball. So um, uh, really proud of their effort. I mean, everybody on our team has a green light to shoot threes, and uh, they were they were shot ready. Defensively, this might have been your team's most dominating, dominating performance in terms of points allowed, only 26. They never had a quarter in which they scored more than uh, 10 points. They never got even close to, to double figures. And yet, your defense tonight was different combinations of young players, new players, and the veterans. And no matter what combination you had out there, they did a great job of forcing bad shots, coming up with turnovers. Uh, first, UT Tyler, um, I, you know, they played super hard the whole game. This was their first game. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's December the 15th, and that, that poor team uh, is just now playing their first game. And um, it... I know that my players are sick of me saying this, but every time we have a game, I'm like, y'all, we need to be so grateful we have a game um, because we, you know, we really have not skipped a beat. We were able to start on time and uh, play all the games on our schedule, and so we're very grateful for that. And um, but I, I thought our defensive intensity was really good. I was not very happy uh, with the overall play in the second quarter. We didn't rebound well. We gave up offensive rebounds. Our shot selection was not very good in the second quarter, but besides that, I thought that our players were pretty intense defensively. We had good help side. Um, the second half, they did. We did a much better job of, of blocking out, pursuing rebounds, and uh, really had a dominant rebounding performance in the second half. Um, so, you know, our team just needs to be consistent about that effort, about you know, locking in to finish possessions. Uh, but you know, overall, I'm I'm pleased with just them playing with high hands and good ball pressure, playing good team defense. Offensively speaking, it was a significant run in the first quarter that gave you a pretty sizable lead. Uh, they asked, what do you credit that first significant run to? Uh, you know, our starters have done such a great job starting games. Uh, they've done a really good job of putting points on the board early. Uh, we got some good defensive stops in the first quarter that turned into primary break. Um, offense for us. Uh, so I, I think they were just ready to play and kind of jump started our team. Younger players uh, coming in throughout the game tonight, and we've talked about this before where the, the point distribution is pretty evenly spread out. You had three players in double figures, including KD, but no one scored more than 11 points. Uh, what are your thoughts so far? And your players just just finding each other. For yeah, uh, we have a lot of scoring threats, and our players have done a, a pretty good job up to this point of um, being shot ready, but understanding what is a good shot for them, or if they need to make an extra pass or another action to get the ball in somebody else's hands. And so, um, I, I think they're they're doing really good. I mean, it's like mid December, and we have not seen that many bad shots. Uh, so I was pleased with um, that just offensive awareness. Um, but we have a lot of different scoring threats, and um, this was our, uh, you know, another home game where we had opportunity to play everyone, and uh, it was kind of equal opportunity as far as who was getting shots up, and uh, I called a lot of different sets to get different looks, and our players executed well offensively, but they, they really shared the ball well. I don't, I don't even know how many assists we have, but it had to be a pretty good number. 22 tonight. Yeah, very good. Um, just, you know, people creating shots for their teammates. Excellent. And lastly, what do you want your team to be focusing, working on as they get ready for this trip to Florida? Um, you know, it's kind of our final tune-up before we jump into conference play. And Christmas is always so much more fun when you end on a, on a win, when you end on a, a good ball game. And so we want to play really uh, crisp and clean in Florida. We're playing two good teams in UAB and Stetson. And so we've got to take our A game there. But um, it's, you know, kind of the 
the last, uh, it's our last non-conference games before we get into the games that really count this season. Katie, congratulations on the win tonight. You had 10 points in 20 minutes uh, coming off the bench. What did you think about your individual performance this evening? I thought I played good tonight, and it's easier to play good when you have uh, good teammates around you, and they always, we always know how to get the ball to each other and find a way to get us good shots for each other, and that really helps. Excellent. What was the toughest part about playing at Texas A&M Sunday night than driving back and getting ready for this game today? Uh, the toughest part would be probably just learning a whole new scout in one day, and We've done it before and it's just, it takes a lot of mental, it's mental more than physical, I think. Mm -hmm. And, you know, before we get too ahead of, ahead of ourselves, I did want to ask you about the trip to Florida. You guys have only made a few road trips so far this season, but, you know, this is aligning itself up with the holidays. You know, you're one of the younger players. What advice are you getting from coaches and the older players that help you keep your focus on the games before you celebrate Christmas? Uh, definitely just take it one day at a time and make sure you have everything ready, everything packed so you don't forget everything and just focus where your feet are. They always say, put your mind where your feet are and you'll be fine. In high school, um, were you ever part of a team that launched this many three-pointers? No, not really. We were kind of more of a fast break team, beat everyone down the floor with a lot of layups. <laughs> but I'm sure Coach told you it's part of the recruiting process and you've you've seen us play over yes. the years that we are a three point shooting team. And yes. You, I'm guessing you felt comfortable to, to step into that role and be a shooter. Yeah, my AAU team did that a lot. It's just shoot a lot of threes.